Begin by building your square base, which is about approximately 3 8 of an inch. On top of the square base, you're going to need to carve out a trapezoid shape that's smaller in size, just slightly, that will sit on top of the square. Adhere to the square base with some liquid clay and begin to carve out the eyes and the nose holes. Pre-bake for just about 10 minutes and then start to sand down the shape. On top of the trapezoid, you're going to need to draw a smaller box within. You're going to need to carve it down on the face to have an indentation on the face plate. Adhere two squares to the top of the trapezoid. These are going to be the uh, little squares that hold the phone receiver down. This mixture is just water and chalk pastels. I'm using this to just color the inside of the eye socket before placing the eyeballs and the nose. The phone dial is just a flattened disc with 10 poked holes. I adhered the phone handle and some pre-baked blue wheels to the phone. After I stuck them on with some liquid clay, I pre-baked it again. Once I pre-baked the receiver, I stuck the ends of the phone on that were actually the ear and the mouthpiece to the phone. I stuck these on with some liquid clay and I smoothed out the edges. Once again, I pre-baked and I'm sanding down the edges. When I made the phone, the clay that I used and the colors that I chose served to be the basis for the colors. Once baked, I chose colors that were slightly richer with acrylic paint just to enhance the detail. On the recessed trapezoid on the top of the phone, you're going to etch out eight small triangles. This will serve to be the colored dial for the phone. You may or may not see this underneath the dial. When glazing this phone, the areas of white were done in a matte glaze and all of the painted areas were done with gloss. I stiffened up two pieces of string with some craft glue and I shaped them into curls. I adhered both of these to the phone. One is the receiver string and the other is the pull cord for the toy. <laughs> 